Hello and welcome. It is 8 o'clock. It is the 16th day of July 2021. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming. That sound can be me, only mean I'm opening a soda. And the spoilers from this weekend's G4 continue to come in because some people just can't wait. So we have the backs cover text information and more information on the Wild Beyond the Witch Light. And apparently Wild Beyond the Witch Light includes the updated stats of the classic 1980s Dungeons and Dragons characters, Warduke, Strongheart, and Kellogg. Well, if you're one of the many people who don't know who Warduke, Strongheart, and Kellogg are, they were the characters from the short-lived Advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figure series, Kellogg being an evil wizard, Warduke being the iconic evil fighter, and Strongheart being the good paladin. Strongheart had battlematic action. Warduke, of course, had his famous sword and shield and the infamous I'm only wearing armor on one side of my body. And Kellogg was your typical evil wizard in red robes who had a, you know, fiery stuff. And that was who uh, Strongheart fought against. So this is the information as we know it. Apparently, this is not a source book like we saw. Wild Beyond the Witchlight is an adventure. It's a wicked, whimsical adventure for the world's greatest role-playing game. Once every eight years, the fantastic carnival touches down on your world, bringing joy to one settlement after the next. Its owners, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, know how to put on a good show. But there's more to this magical extravaganza than meets the eye. The carnival is a gateway to the fantastic Feywild domain, unlike anything else found on the material plane. Unless, of course, you count all the other ones. Uh, time has not been kind to this realm, however, and a dark day lies ahead unless someone can thwart the dastardly schemes of the Hourglass Coven. Cobra! While Beyond the Witchlight is an adventure from the witch that takes characters from the Witchlight Cavern to the Feywild domain and is designed for characters of levels 1 through 8. The adventure comes with poster maps that shows the carnival on one side and the Plane of Fire, Fey, Plane of Fey, the Feywild on the other. This book will allow you to explore the Plane of Fairy in the first official D&D adventure set primarily in the Feywild, unless, of course, you count the ones that were set in the Feywild from the TSR days. You can easily drop the Witch-like Caravan into any campaign, you can, it introduces two races, play as a fairy or as a Harngrone, a race of humanoid rabbits. It adds two backgrounds, the Fey Lost, characters who grew up in the Fey Wild, and a Witchlight Hand, who works for the carnival. All the encounters supposedly can be resolved without resorting to combat, rewarding clever ideas, and creative role play. Mm -hmm, of course they can. And classic 1980s Dungeons and Dragons characters return into 5th edition stats, Warduke, Strongheart, and Kellogg. Does that mean they're going to re-release the action figures? Because yeah, I know I love me a Warduke action figure. Um, and are we going to see these guys turned into d and size figures as well? Because I know I, you know, pre-painted Warduke figure for D&D and Kellogg and Strongheart would be good. Uh, I, I guess we thought this was going to be a source book but no it is an adventure and yeah so stuff about you know uh oh and it's interesting that they're using races after wizards of the coast said they weren't going to use the term races anymore instead of using the term recently so the two races are fairy and rabbit so i don't know that's yeah that's that's interesting uh, of course, the thing I'm most excited about is the possibility of seeing figures for this set, because who doesn't want spooky circus figures? We really haven't had any good spooky circus figures since, uh, I don't know, uh, some of the early figures for uh, Mage Knight um, had some spooky circus, but yeah. So that is the spoilers for the upcoming which light it is not a background source book it's an adventure to take characters from levels one through eight featuring information on the plane and of course in updated information on war duke strongheart and kellick yes kellick who first appeared in quest for the heart heartstone a novel 
Uh, Strongheart also appeared in the novel, and they also appeared in an episode of the D and D cartoon. So yeah, there we go. The classic action figures converted to D and D stats for fifth edition, and possibly a re-release of the action figures, which would be awesome. Uh, and of course, uh, hopefully, we will see some witch-like carnival-themed figures because who doesn't like spooky circus figures? That's the first of the many. Spoilers that are coming out of this weekend's big G4 D&D thingy. If uh, this is stuff that you're interested in, please let me know. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help me hit 1,000 subs by whatever. Till then, I will have more information as it becomes available. As always, I'm your grumpy guide to all things gaming. Stay warm, stay hydrated, stay safe, stay sane, stay awesome, stay off my land. I'll talk to you later.